Flood motion frame in AMD FSR3 is useless. Flood motion frames from FidelityFX Super Resolution 3 is disabled when using the driver if the camera is moved rapidly. To be more precise, this happens when the camera is rotated quickly. FSR3 with flood motion frames is already available in two games in its full form. Additionally, in around 20 other games, flood motion frames can be enabled through the driver, but initial tests have shown that it is not very effective in this mode. It turns out that in this mode the frame generator automatically turns off as soon as the player begins to actively move the camera. AMD honestly warns about this on their website, but this warning was not widely noticed before, and it was not clear how it works in practice. The reason behind this behavior is that when the frame generation technology works through the driver without full integration into the game, it lacks additional data on motion vectors and therefore disables itself to avoid artifacts. While there are no definite tests yet, it is possible that if you play with a gamepad and lower sensitivity settings, flood motion frames might not turn off or do so less frequently. Furthermore, even in this mode the technology might still be suitable for games where rapid camera rotation is not required. In summary, in this mode flood motion frames cannot be considered a full ledge feature. However, it could be used in games where you don't need to rapidly rotate the camera. For example, in Cyberpunk 2077 on the Radeon RX 7900XTX, in 4K you can achieve 60 frames per second even with ray tracing on Psycho mode enabled, whereas without frame generation this GPU delivers only 34 fps per second. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more news about FSR and DLSS.